is Argentina against Chile. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks for that Peter and may I say a big hello to everyone. There's the whistle and here we go. Who do you think this turns on Jim? I think it's got to be Alexis Sanchez. A sensation when he's in full flow. Uh, although he's played a, as a central striker, I prefer him operating out wide where he enjoys more space and that enables him to generate greater momentum for a one-on-one -on -one. And, and yeah, I think he's a huge threat. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Yeah, he's fouled him there. It's not taken him long and that's going to be a booking. Higuain, good clearance and very necessary. Marcus Rojo, it's a long forward pass. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And it's Vidal, looks like a good ball through. Mascherano tries a long pass towards the front. Looks to slip it through. Higuain is on his own. Goal! Argentina! Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside. And he still had a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. Argentina themselves into the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Alexis Sanchez. Out for a throw. Ball. Who's going to get that? Half an hour played now. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. And it's Rojo. Now the pass. Iguain. Big chance. Can he score? Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Massive leap! He's missed, but not by that far. Well, the keeper ended up a spectator there. He was wrong-footed and stranded, and uh, for me, I think he was left praying. goal and already they're looking to run away with it uh, given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot well considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy he was the one player that should have been picked up then it was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting Argentina get themselves a two goal cushion well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their... And more, and more, and more! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. All the way back, and they start again. Gets it upfield. 
cuts it out. And the half-time whistle goes. It's looking very much like game, set and match. A half of ruthless endeavour with a thirst for more. Just in case you think this is bias on my part, it isn't. This is fact. Argentina 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Di Maria. Into the channel. Alexis Sanchez. Cuts it back. Defense has got rid of that. Mascherano. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Hit long and direct. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and having notched the goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. Now can he finish? Marcus Rojo gets it away. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. With the ball. has got good distance on that Mattel shoots and it's Di Maria good running with the ball can they build on it big chance here oh good stop it had to be well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on Surely this will be the last chance. Lovely bit of skill. Vidal. There is the final whistle. Argentina very much the 